Kim here with Art Classes for Kids. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if it's your first time ever tuning in, meet Lily. Lily and I have been working really hard on a super big surprise for the last few weeks for this summer, which is Art Camp in a Box. So we're going to unbox an Art Camp in a Box so you can find out what's that. Yeah, what, well, I'll give you a clue. There are art supplies in this project for 10, or there's art supplies for 10 projects inside this box. We're gonna see what they are, and I'm gonna show you what you get to make if you get a box. You ready, Lily? Can you start opening the box? Sure. It's like Christmas. So pull that box over, get it open. So while Lily's opening up the box, let me tell you a few things. The art camp in a box is um, filled with all the supplies you're going to need for 10 different projects that you get to create at home while watching videos. Um, and those videos are not the only way you can watch it. You can also watch by joining a, a Zoom art camp with me this summer. We've got three different weeks to choose from and those are going to be really exciting. We also have corresponding videos for each project so you can just do it when you want during the summer. And what else? Oh my gosh, there's two different boxes. The younger box that we call the beginner boxes for five to eight year olds. And our unboxing video for that is our last is from our last video. Yeah. So you can go check that out after you've watched this. Yeah, and this one is our more advanced box for kids nine and older. It was originally kind of nine through 12, but you know what? If you're 13 or 14 and you still want to do it, hey, go for it. So let's see, what, what, what does it look like? Oh, it's just a box full of tissue is what it looks like. So let's, let's rip open that tissue and, and get it going. All right. Ooh, what do we have? Looks like a bag. Woo! Okay, so let's pull something out. Let's go, let's see what it is. Our first bag here is a welcome to our camp in a box. Wow. Thing. <laughs> here, you pull out all the goodies and I will look at this. This is a little welcome um, page and it tells you the three most answered or asked questions that I can give you answers to. It says, what's in the box? Well, there's a list of supplies and we're gonna show you those one by one. Uh, what will you make? We're gonna be showing you that here today too. And how will I learn? Well, like I mentioned before, you can either um, go uh, at, to our website, which is artclassesforkids.com, and click the link that leads you to our videos that are made exclusively for the projects in the box. And that's the only way you can get those videos. And they're super special projects. Or you can sign up for one of the Zoom live virtual art camps where you join us for one week. The first week is June 15th through 19th. And, um, and the advanced kids, it's 1 o'clock to 4.30 p.m. where you sit down for three and a half hours in front of your TV, your computer, whatever, and you make art with us and you can even interact with us. And then lastly, you can just do it by the instructions that come in the little packets. So what's in this packet, Lily? Well, what we have so far that I pulled out is some pieces of already cut cellophane that, that we usually use, use to wrap all our the gifts. art projects. The gifts? <laughs> uh, well, some our, people our give projects. their art for gifts. Yes. So we've got that. What else do we have? We have your regular number two pencil, your regular Sharpie, an ebony pencil. This is an ebony pencil, also known as like a graphite pencil. People use this to make more darker uh, lines and shading better. Uh, and it's dark. And it's darker than your regular number two pencil, so this can come in handy. Then also a blending stick you can use to blend the graphite pencil, uh, or you can use to blend oil pastels or chalk pastels. We got um, a set of paintbrushes. Yep, there's five paintbrushes. There's a big one some mediums, and a couple of fine brushes. Yes, yeah, so a glue stick, some clear tape. You're gonna need that to wrap up your art. Um, and a 25 piece art, wait, acrylic, acrylic paint. paint set, 
And it comes with a brush tip. Yeah, you're gonna use that on a couple of different projects as well. And wait, 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 there's more in the bag. Uh, yeah. There is, uh, and then you also get to go home with your own art class kids apron. Yeah, and we have those every summer at camp. We have a collection of them here, so we wear these in a lot of our videos. And they're kind of one size fits all, but you can cut the top and make it smaller if you'd like. You can customize it, you can write your name really cool on it. So uh, this is always, it's really fun to kind of get into the mood of art when you first start doing your art. So hey, let's see what the first project is. So what I see here is a, the first project is your warm up drawing. Now this is not really like a project, it's more just like a, a skill builder where you can just do, but also we will be mounting these on cardboard pieces. Well show us what we get in here and, and while, you, while we get that stuff out, let me just tell you, Every, every summer when people come to my art camp, which I've been doing this art camp for decades, and this is the first summer that I won't be having art camp because due to the COVID-19, you know, a lot of people still aren't gathering in groups. And I wanted to prepare an alternative in case I couldn't have my summer art camp in person. So I've just got it together now, and I'm hoping people will order our kit, kit and have the virtual camp at their own home, getting to do all the same things we do at my real art camp. So one thing we do at my real art camp is we do warm up drawing the first day. We love to draw with music and turn on the music and when the music stops, you stop drawing, you get really fast contour drawing, shading, all kinds of stuff. We put objects in the middle of the table and we have you practice drawing what you see. And that's how we get started. Here's a few. This one, you know, is an overhead view of like a tape roll. See that a little closer. Um, this is where we just throw supplies out in the middle of the tables. And these are like common objects like scissors. And this one is a bunch of stacked little boxes to learn a little bit of perspective. Blocks, uh, wooden blocks. Oh, those were wooden blocks, that's yes. right. So these were all done by students in my classes. Now what I'm gonna have you do is we'll be doing some drawings together and we have go going to be giving you five sheets of cardstock to draw on. Then you get, oh, I Oh, okay, so tell them how many backings you get. You get three backings. Oh, and also you have your instructions. Yeah. Of course. And then we also have three pre taped, uh, pre taped, pre cut uh, cellophane that could fit in the bag because it's small enough. Yeah. And then here are some other. The, those bigger ones are for the bigger projects. Bigger. Yeah. So when you, after you draw five, you're gonna pick your top three. You're gonna mount them and save them to the end of your art camp week, or maybe you're dragging it out throughout the summer, because there, I gotta give you a little clue now. Towards the end, you're saving all your art, because we're gonna help you plan a really cool art show. We're gonna show have a bonus film. video to help you find different ways to different ways to display. De display and decorate your art um, your art show in your home. Yeah, because a big part of making art is also sharing it with others or showing them what you made and all that exciting stuff. Parents will love to see your art. So go ahead and grab the next bag, Lily. Okay, so our next project that I see is a colored pencil abstract landscape drawing. Yeah, and this one is going to look a little bit like this. It's inspired by the artist name, the contemporary artist named Franz Ackermann. He usually does a lot of installations. That's, you know, like a setting in a gallery or a museum. And he uses this, this style, this more abstract, surreal theme, which is of, um, you know, these imaginary, it's like an imaginary landscape. So we're gonna teach you, the older kids, more about the more conceptual art, and you're gonna to get to do this project with colored pencils on a piece of cardstock, which you get to mount onto this black foam board when you're done, and it's gonna be really fun. How many pencils do they get here? 24 colored pencils. So you're gonna get a lot of really cool art supplies that you're not even gonna use up when you do these projects. Well, you're not going to use up all of it. Yeah. But you are going to use up some of it. So when you're done with this project, you can make a lot more art with these colored pencils. So there's a lot of cool things in here. So let's go ahead and go on to the next project. So project number three. Yeah. Is our oil pastel abstract figure. 
inspired by. Inspired by Pop Up Casa. It's going to look a little something like this. This one, it's one of his figurative style artworks. And we're going to be doing this. We're going to be doing a lot of blending of oil pastels with that blending stick and with what looks like this really big set in here. Grab that. You'll be getting a watercolor paper and a backing and we're going to pre-tape it for you and give you three little spots to get started on your drawing. And in this set of oil pastels, you have 48 oil pastels that you get to keep. You can just pull that out. <laughs> there you go. Alrighty, and so this project is a real classic and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it. So let's see. Let's grab this. That's our third project. We still have seven more to go. Wait. That's our, yeah. Okay. So we get all these oil pastels. Oil pastels are so cool. You can make a lot of cool stuff. And if you've never used oil pastels before, you'll learn how to get really good at it. Okay, so our fourth project is our pop, pop art chalk pastel drawing. That will look a little bit like this. I've got the cellophane already on this one because I don't want it to rub off on my hands right now. But this one is inspired by the pop artist Andy Warhol. And you're going to be looking at still life and I'm gonna teach you how to draw a cylinder and how to detail it and choose colors, all kinds of stuff. You're gonna make this your own. And uh, this, this is a popular project. Yes, and this also comes with a couple of simple uh, supplies. supplies, yes. So what we have for you is a pre-taped uh, black construction paper piece, and then our backing, our cardboard backing, and a 36 set of chalk pastels. Yeah, and then the cellophane that you need for that's in this roll. Alrighty, so let me take that from you. That's the fourth project. Okay. Go ahead, Lily, and grab the next thing. So our fifth project is this cut yes. paper collage by inspired right by there. Jennifer Bar Bar Bart Bartlett. It looks a little bit like this, and I really love this project. So this is like a collage where you're gonna cut all these really skinny strips of paper. You're gonna get, ooh, tired, Lily? Long day. Okay, so what we're going to do is give you, show them what they get in this. You can just slide everything out of the bag. So we have some papers, some colorful paper scraps of construction paper. Yeah, there's lots of colors to choose from. Your instructions. Ooh, there's a few more pieces of colored paper. And we have this. We also have a, a stencil. stencil for you to draw the center of it. Yeah. To use for the center of it and for your like background. lines at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, one is for the house and one's for the background. Yeah. Separate so the you, sky from you, your you'll guys. be getting two of these. Ooh. And okay, there you go. We also have a piece of black construction paper along with our cardboard backing. Yeah, so this project, you will definitely need to, from the main pack, use the glue stick, and then you're, you're set. All right. So, on to our, let me flip this around. Oh, our popular project. Huh? Sculpting. So our, our sixth, sixth project. project, which is our our clay sculpture, it's made by Takashi Murakami. And this project is <coughs> really popular. You're going to be show them the supplies they get, and I'll show them that. So what you ha what we have for you is your instructions, some markers. White. Nope, that one's yellow. Oh, yellow, blue. And that one says white. You can go and white. Uh, 
Model Magic, also known as Marshmallow Clay. And two backing boards, and it's going to look a little bit like this. Wait, also so, cellophane piece. Yes, and a piece of cellophane. So this project, inspired by the Japanese artist Takashi Murakami, you're going to get yellow for the faces, you're going to get blue for the sky, and for all the petals and the leaves, you're going. I'm going to teach you how to take white model magic, how to color it with markers, and how to create these flowers. And you'll get to make this relief sculpture. This one's cool. I love this one. All right. I'll take that one. And we've got a few more projects. Three more projects after this one, which is the seventh project. Yeah. So the seventh project is. Ooh, what is the it? seventh project is your abstract floral watercolor inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe. So you will get what, oh, you, get what you get is some paper towels, a watercolor set, and it comes with a brush too. And how many colors? And it, you get 36 colors. And if you've watched any of our videos with watercoloring, a lot of times we use that same set. And you also have your piece of watercolor paper and pre-tape too. And we also have our cardboard back. Yeah, and that's all to make this abstract uh, close-up flower inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe that's really famous for doing this. She was doing this about 100 years ago. And, um, you know, this is a popular project. I haven't done this project in years, but I know it's popular, so I brought it back. And I hope you enjoy it. So, our eighth project. Now, you notice every one of our projects is using a different medium and a different style of art. We don't want to repeat, like, the same type of art. So then, uh, because then our, you, you, the viewers, you guys, will probably get bored with it if you <laughs> keep doing the same no. thing Plus over and over again. Plus, we want you to build again. skills in all the different areas. So, what is this, Lily? So, this is our magazine. Uh, mono print print making portraits. Yes. And oh, the paper got bent. Oh, it's okay. So what? Also, what? Okay. Well, let me just show them an example. So an example of this would be like this face right here, or this portrait, or this one, or this. And now, how these are made is that you will be looking around your own home for magazine pictures or photographs of people that you really like. Mm, then right. you'll be taking a sheet of the cellophane and laying it out on top of your magazine picture and then painting on top of that cellophane what you see through it, then taking your piece of paper, rubbing it on top, pulling it off, and seeing how it looks. So that's how we got these, and they're mono prints. That means they're one of a kind, and after you've made a few of them, you're gonna pick your three favorites to mount for your big art show. There you go. And next, what do we have? Oh, what do you, you wanna say about this? We didn't say what, what the supplies Oh, the supplies. So you, okay, go ahead. This is the, I get the, the supplies that you will be getting are your instructions. So cardboard, I uh, some construction paper. Some um, black paper. Yeah, and a paper, a paper plate for your paint palette, and you'll need. And you'll need the paint. The paint from the first bag, and then you can either here, you can either use the, you can either dip from the cups that come with it, or you can just use the paper plate for your colors as your paint and palette. One, and you know what? I didn't point this out before. One whole strip is metallic colors. So the metallics really show up cool on the mono prints. So you might want to save those metallic colors for this project. Yeah. Yeah. All and right. then we also have some paper towels. Yeah. Oh, and three cardboard backings. So we have five construction pieces of construction paper that we give you, but you you get to choose your three most favorite pieces that you made and put them on your cardboard backing. Yeah, so you can have those for presentation for your big art show. Here, I'll take care of that, Lloyd. All We're right. already to our ninth project. Oh I can't goodness. believe it. We've okay, been, and this is a very been popular. We've zooming project. through this. This is a very popular project. Yeah, it's very original.
Richard on it. It's so it's the still life cakes painting inspired by Wayne Tebow. And you're probably wondering what that looks like. And let me show you. It looks a little something like this. Now remember, this is the advanced box. This is a very detailed painting and it takes a little time, but we're gonna make it easier for you. And you know how we're gonna do it? What? We have stencils. So if you wanna use stencils, you can take this page that's printed out and you can cut these stencils out so that you can get the right size uh, plates to have and you can have these special cakes and you can decide where you can decide that and how many you're gonna have so you don't do it just free-handed but and it looks so messy and no a lot of people can do this free-handed lily it's just that if you it's want easier. more time to paint or you're feeling a little more confident we're giving you this tool and you can choose to use it or toss it aside okay so anyway okay. show them what they get um, you get your instructions. A paper plate for uh, a palette. Oh, and also you'll need. You'll need the paint. The acrylic paint gun. You can also use your. Uh, you can also use the cups that come with it. And just or dip in those. And just dip in those. But if, if you, you want, want to mix. or if you want to mix and like. Have it separate, so you can just use your paper plate. Yes, and you're going to be using uh, a lot of these different size brushes here too. We have your stencils as usual. And Lily, what kind of canvas do you have? We have some wooden panel canvases. Well, what do you mean by wooden panel? Or wooden oh, frame. I see. I see. So it's the type that have staples onto the wood, and it's about that thick. So this is. All that you're gonna to get to make this painting. And this is a popular painting. I haven't made this in years either. So let's see what's next. I hope you're getting excited about the projects because I think they're all really cool. You're gonna make a lot of cool stuff. So this is also the first and the very last project, as we would call it. It's not really a project, but you can call it a project if you want to because we're mounting it, all that stuff. So the last one is drawing realistic faces. Now this is not inspired by anybody. Neither is the first uh, thing, but... But, well, let me tell yeah. you a little bit about what we're doing. You show what the supplies are. So on this project, every time kids come to my camp for a week, they make 10 projects, but we also really want them to build their skills and learn how to draw a little bit better than wherever they're at. So um, this, we're just gonna break down an oval into sections so you can see what the average face looks like as far as where the features go. Once you learn that, you can customize it and make it look like a person, maybe yourself, maybe somebody else, but we're gonna break down the eye, we're gonna break down different ways to draw noses, how to draw different lips, we're gonna show you how to shade, and we're gonna show you how to do basic of different hairstyles. So this is something that kids usually get really into and try to get better at every time they come back to our camp. And, um, and you can try, and you viewers at home can try to get better at it as the yeah. years go by. Yeah. So, so this is a good start for an advanced student. And you'll be getting... Oh, you'll be getting a piece of paper with a outline of your facial uh, your head and um, some guidelines. Guidelines in the middle, so yeah, you know, know where your eyes go and like so it's symmetrical. Yeah, and they get. And you also get your your cardboard backing. Yeah. Also, did we do the um, a YouTube video on this? We have never done a YouTube video on this. We thought about really? it. Really, I thought we've done. Yeah, it. yeah. yeah. So, maybe we just filmed one, but we never Maybe. It. So that was uh, all of our 10 projects, but let me just tell you, there's one more extra bonus video, or if you join our live, uh, you know, our live Zoom camp, then you will get to learn all about different creative ways to hang up your art and present it in making an art show for your friends and family. And uh, that's always really cool. Parents really look forward to seeing your art. And rather than the way that you might bring it home from school like one at a time, you can save everything for the week and maybe not even show them 
until the end of the week and say, hey, I'm saving this for my big art show and that's gonna be on whatever, Friday or at the end of the summer, whatever it's gonna be. And you might even have more art than this that you wanna to add to it. And then you're gonna present it and they're gonna be blown away. I know they are. So anyway, let me just go over the basics. The basics of the box is that you can, um, you can watch it either by uh, clicking into each individual video, watch it at your own pace. You can sign up for one of the live Zoom camps or you can just do the instructions that are written and do it you know, on your own pace. Uh, well, should I tell them uh, where to get all this and how much it costs and all that? Probably. Sure. So if you go to our website, which is artclassesforkids.com, that is where you can buy Art Camp in the Box. And uh, how much does it cost, Lily? Do you remember? $175 75. for all these supplies and you get to make 10 projects and you get the instructions. But you can get a discount and it will be it will be a total of $160 yes. if if you pay by May 15th. And that's all on our website. That's when you get to choose if you want to, you know, what kind of box you want to get. We have a beginner box for five to eight year olds. We've got an advanced box for nine and older. And we also, you can buy a sibling box. That's where you get one box with all these supplies, but you get extra things that you use up. So for example, you get extra watercolor paper or you get an extra canvas, you get extra clay, but you don't get, and you probably would get an extra paint set actually, but you you wouldn't need to get, uh, you can share your uh, supplies like. Yeah, you wouldn't need to get two pencils. separate boxes. Yeah, for, so you can save your parents yeah. some money there. Or, and also, let me, yeah. and, and then there's one other thing is that, um, if you have kids in the family that are at two different age levels. Like if one is like uh, 11 years old and one's like six years old. And they want two different boxes, we're gonna give you a discount on your second box. Mm -hmm. And if you live in a foreign country and it costs way too much money to ship this to you, you do have the option of just getting access to all the videos and buying the supplies in your own country. So I wanted to thank you guys so much for sending in your photos because, you know, since we've been doing these uh, daily videos, we have been getting so many of your photos sent to us through uh, Instagram or through my email address. So if they haven't done that before and they want to do it, how do they do that, Lily? You can go to our Instagram and tag us with Art Classes for Kids or you can email us at kim at artclassesforkids.com. Yeah, with your photos so we can see how awesome your projects are turning out. And I want to thank you. And you can also send us photos of your art show at the end of the week. Ooh, that's true. Didn't think of that. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching this unbox today. And I hope you're excited about Art Camp in a Box. I also want to thank you for tuning in and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notifications bell down below if you haven't done it already. And, and you wanna get so more you can know when all of our, our videos are coming out. Yeah, and until we see you again, keep making cool, cool art. art.